strange time, chips and up strange time. Okay. And boy, that, that record hits home right now, I'll tell you. If you listen yeah. to those songs, you'll be pleasantly surprised on that. And I got Robin Zander singing on that record. So I was only fitting, couldn't get Peterson because Peterson's very busy, plus I play bass as well. Although I'm going to get him on one record one day. I, but I called Dax. I said, Dax, would you be so kind to come down and play drums on a track? He ended up playing on half the record. <laughs> and I'm telling you, a great storyteller, too, you know, wonderful. He's a wonderful father. You know, he's got a beautiful family and stuff. But all he wants to do 24-7 when he's not with his family is play rock and roll heavy metal. That's all he wants to do. And so he came down on the record, and he ended up playing a bunch of songs and telling stories and just had a great time on making the record. So when it was all said and done, we turned it into Frontiers, and um, they gave us a thumbs up and, here we are. Not many records being put out right now, but we're putting one out in July, and in September we'll go out. We'll support it on a, on a worldwide tour with Faster Pussycat. Both bands will be on tour buses, and we'll be traveling around practicing social distancing. Not, it'll be, a, it'll be a great. It'll be a great rock and roll party, bro. Well, I'll tell you. You know, Chip. Like I said, I've seen you guys a lot over the years. I think the last time I saw Enough's Enough, you were at the Arcata Theater in uh, in St. Charles, Illinois, with Michael Schenker. Uh, you guys, wow, yes. you, you guys opened up the show and, and Chip, I've, I've seen you played with like when you played with Adler's Appetite and I've seen a lot of, I just need to know Chip, what keeps you going? I mean, you were a busy, busy man. And I mean, you always come out with some great music and you're, and you've been relevant in the rock world for over 30 years. What keeps you going, Chip? I, I guess that's my question. Uh, it's a blessing from the good Lord. Okay. It really is. I gotta be honest with you. There's a power above that's given me the strength to get these through these records every single year. I can't take the credit for it myself. Remember the great John Lennon, what he used to say, all the good songs have already been written. It's up to us as artists to find them and bring them down to you. I'm no John Lennon, but I certainly have picked a lot of my ideas off him. And I'm just grateful I'm another artist out there that can go out and make records every single year and perhaps bring it on the road and play them for you guys live in concert. And get it. I've made a lot of friends around the country up to this point, and I'm going to make a lot more. So um, it's a gift that I that I have, and I'm lucky to have it. Most musicians I know have that too, and they'll say the same thing. You talk to Slash, he'll say, "Yeah, it's a gift from above." I'm, I'm still making these records and putting music out every single year. So don't take it for granted. Be good to the fans. Be kind because kindness costs nothing, and with it, you can give so much. I, I have to, I, and I want to throw this out there. The, the couple times that I've met you, you've always had a, you've always been so gracious with your fans, and always take time to meet them and hang out with them. And I always wanted to say that that I really respected you for doing that. I, I thought that was a great I thing to do. That. Yeah, you know, I, I, and I, you know, I appreciate you saying that. Uh, no credit given, right there. That's what all the rock musicians should be. When I was a young kid, I remember going to see Queen playing in concert. And nobody knew back in the old days, there was no meet and greets or and sound check experiences or anything. You go to see a concert and then the band would split and you'd split and you wouldn't see them after they walked up the stage. But we knew, me and my buddy Billy Foster, he used to work with Cheap Trick, to go back in by the alleyway where the bands, where the cars would park and watch the musicians walk out and go to their hotel, get a ride to their hotel rooms. And I'll never forget Brian May and Freddie Mercury coming out of this backstage area and giving me and my buddy the peace sign and thumbs up as they walked into their limousines to go home or to go to their hotels. And it was very special to me. I thought, you know, just to take a, uh, a minute out to say hi to the fans, I uh, really left an indelible mark with me. And I said, if I ever get a chance to do something like this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure I get a chance to uh, do it the right way with all these people and spend a little quality time with them. And that's what I do every single night. But it all started with the Queen concert and watching how those guys are with – very transparent, and uh, most bands I know are good guys. They really are. That's awesome. Well, the new album from Enough's Enough is called Brainwash Generation. It hits stores July 10th. Chip, is this, uh, you're going to get your digitals, your CDs. Is it going to be on vinyl? Uh, record company hasn't told me. I would think it would be, but I don't know. The uh, label, they like to keep little uh, secrets from me, and then they <laughs> surprise me later on. So per, I know that Frontiers does do vinyl. Uh, um, and I would think it would be on there, but either way, I'll have those show. I'm going to have those songs and those albums at the shows every single night. I'll be at the merch booth on that Faster Pussycat Enough's Enough tour, the 2020 quarantine tour, and you'll be able to get a chance to hang out with us every single night. 
I'm not going to be hiding in the back room with a mask on, okay? There you go. And, uh, by the way, by the way, why we're talking about, uh, why I brought that up, uh, a quick shout out to our military, our police, our Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine, all our doctors, our nurses, our first responders. Thank you. God bless you all for taking good care of us and watching over us as a country. And uh, we're going to get through this at the end of the day, and we're going to celebrate hard rock and heavy metal like it's supposed to be real soon. Amen, Chip. And we're going to play another track off this uh, Brainwash Generation. It's a tune called I Got My Money Where My Mouth Is. You want to tell us a little bit about this track? <laughs> Pretty self-explanatory, okay? <laughs> I'm, an, uh, uh, I'm, I'm conceivably a crack. You're my nymphomaniac. <laughs> yeah, you're going to like this one, okay? Really heavy song. By the way, I have Tony Fennell playing guitar on this track. Tony was the ex-lead singer of a band called Ultravox, and now he plays in a group called one in Rome, and uh, wonderful guitar player, singer. Well, Chip, I tell you what, it is always a pleasure to have you on Rock and Metal Revival. I look forward to seeing you out in the road with Faster Pussycat, and you're welcome back here on this show anytime. Appreciate that, my friend. To everybody out there, who cares who drives the bus? Let's get to the picnic. God bless. From their album Mother Brain, there's Crowbot and Gasoline right here on Rock and Metal Revival. Still, dude, I'm still digging that album. I still listen to it in my truck probably... I would say a couple times a month. I really like that album. Yeah, groovy stuff, man. Groovy. Yeah, I, if you don't... I, it it makes me want to hug a tree. <laughs> you, you think so? It's, it's groove metal? Yeah, it's groovy. It's got like a groove it. to it. I like it. Yeah, you want to talk about groovy metal, let's talk about Enough's Enough. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. it was fun having Chip on, though. He's Very That cool. guy is out there. <laughs> nice guy. Uh, love talking to him. But uh, all right, so uh, Chip Snuff was our guest this week. We don't even know who our guest is next week. And Jerry let me in on a secret uh, earlier today that our 400th show is coming Come. up. And I, I, you know, I, I thought about this during the show after you told it to me. Mm. And we've done way more than 400 shows, my man. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, this is 400 of since we started back up. What? Yeah. And ten year, eight years ago, or. Hell, yeah, I don't even remember how what, long. Is it eight years already back? I don't know. Something like that. 12, yeah, 13, wow. 2013 or something. We, I know we've been doing the show for 13 years. Yeah. Almost. 12 or 13. But yeah. Wow. Four, yeah, that's a lot of shows. That's a lot of sitting around. That's a lot of uh, happy sloth to enjoy. Yeah, that's like 800 hours of useless information. Oh, and remember <laughs> when we started, it was three hours. Oh, yeah. We just. But every two weeks, we'd do three hours, yeah. yeah. That was tough. That third hour was always a bitch. <laughs> yeah. There <laughs> there like, were shows where you could get two two guests because oh. we didn't want to talk that much, remember? Yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. Oh, uh, the good old days. Now, I listen now back we won't to the, shut through up. those shows sometimes, and I'm one, I wonder, wow, why didn't we quit then? <laughs> yeah, really? It can't get much better? Is that what you think? Yeah. Or how much wow, worse can it, we Yeah, How yeah. much lower like, can we, we go? <laughs> We've actually gotten a lot better, yeah. and that's not saying much. No. But uh, but we want to thank Chips Enough once again for coming on the show. Yeah, um, cool. Also, like I said, next week, I'm not sure who's yeah. going to be on the show with us. Uh, it could be Marty McCoy from Ooh. The Lonely Ones. I've been trying to get him on the show. No, no, it could be guy. George. could be George Lynch. Ooh. Um, oh. Could be Frank Hannon. Oh, could be what the hell? We could call David Ellison again. Yeah, you know he's got a new side project out. Oh yeah. So yeah. So until uh, hey, you're gonna have to tune in next week. We're not gonna we're not gonna tell yeah. you. So you can say, well, I don't like that guy. I'm not listening. You're gonna yeah. listen. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah. Otherwise, you, we'll come to your house. Play exactly. It, play we'll do the show in your, your living room. Yeah. All hey, right. No, so, we'll do it in your front yard so your neighbors get to <laughs> get to see what you're subjected to too. Yeah, and, and we'll socially distance too. Yeah, yeah. All, all right. So that winds up the show. That's going to do it for us tonight. As we always say, please don't drink and drive. Smoke and fly. Peace. This brings to an end another edition of Rock and Metal Revival. If you enjoyed it, tell a friend. If you didn't. Tell two. Until next time, this is Rock and Metal Revival. So who put a hoo hoo dilly in your cha cha? <laughs>